Hi, my name is Natalie, and I'm just going to do a little demonstration on how to insert your nasogastric feeding tube. Um, yeah, so I have to put it in at night. So first, uh, the materials I guess you'll need is your your feeding tube, um, tape, the tape that they give you, lubricating jelly, glass of water, a syringe, and uh, some flushing water. Uh, you'll also need a stethoscope, and yeah, that's about it. So, um, yeah, so first you have to make sure that you measure it. Um, to measure it, you, unincluding the weight, you put it up to your nose, put it behind your ear, and find your sternum. Here. Your sternum is right, it's the bone right here, just the bone. Um, then, if you have small fingers, you find the sternum, and then one, two, three fingers, pinch it there, and that's where you're going to have to mark it. If you have big fingers, then it's, if you have big fingers, then two fingers later, you'll mark it. So, there, I, I marked it with some Sharpie, just normal Sharpie. Just make it a color that stands out with the color of your nasogastric feeding tube. It could be red, black, blue, anything, as long as you can see it. So... That's that, and um, put it in the lubricating jelly. Put the tip, make sure this part is all closed. So it's closed, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to open up this lubricating jelly. And, all right. So I'll just put that in there. Just gonna, still haven't really opened it, but. This isn't a step that is um, mandatory. It just helps it go down easier. So, oh, this won't open. There. Got to cut it there. Put it in. Dip it in the lubricating jelly. Get it all in there. All right. So now. Just make sure you have your water close by. I have it right here in case I need it. And um, sometimes I have better luck in putting it in the nostril I want some days, and sometimes I don't. So um, today I'm going to put it in this nostril, since I slept it with it this nostril last night. Um, I might not be able to do it. I might be. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Um, I don't know what it depends on, but um, yeah, so here I go. Hopefully I can do this. So make sure you keep it aiming towards the bottom. So you just kind of press down a bit. This shouldn't hurt. So if it hurts, go slowly. Ooh, I feel like sneezing. Okay, so you just put it up. Oh. <coughs> All right. Oh, I got to the throat. There we go. So basically, I drink the water to get it, um, to make it easier to get it past my gag reflex. I'm just gonna finish this and I'll explain a bit more. All right. Oh. So now you can see the little Sharpie. Whoa, <laughs> that might happen. So make sure it's right there. And I'm using my uh, computer camera as my mirror. It's always best to do it in a mirror. Make sure it's right there, right under. And just with the tape, just stick it there. Like that. Make sure you have the right kind of tape. Don't just use scotch tape or something. This is specially meant for nasogastric feeding tubes. Um, here, it's a bit long, so I'm just going to cut the corner. There we go. Whoops. Maybe this corner, too. A bit long. 
All right. You can cut into any shape you want. I was at the hospital and they made me a heart. So there you go. All right. Now what you have to do is you have to check for placement. So basically what you do is you take the syringe. So I got it in this plastic bag. It's always good to have, get, have your stuff cleaned. This tube is very, very thoroughly cleaned by my mother. And so is the syringe. So I'm just get the syringe. Um, fill it up. I usually fill it up with 10 cc's of air, and I don't use all the cc's. I usually just even, sometimes I just use one cc, but I always fill it up to 10 just in case. Um, so you open this up. Oh, we got some stuff splashed on my face, but it's okay. Okay, so you take the syringe, poke it in there. Make sure it's pretty well in there. I won't slip out. Okay, now you take the stethoscope. Make sure it's pointing like the other way, not like this. It's not pointing at you. It's pointing the other way. Put it in your ears. Okay. Find your sternum and basically do the same thing you did when you measured the tube. So find your sternum, three or two fingers down. Put it there, depending on your fingers. Um, and just slowly just put a little bit of air in and see if you can hear like a gurgling or a growling sound oh yeah there you go if you do that means it's in the right place so i heard it which means that it's in my stomach so i can unplug that make sure oops make sure always before putting something in or out of the tube that you pinch it see how i'm pinching pinching it here like that I'm pinching the tip so that nothing can get in or out kind of thing. So always pinch it. That's very important. Um, now what I'm going to do as a final step is I'm going to flush the tube to make sure it's clear. So I got my flushing water. You open it up. And I usually take 20 cc's of water. Mom. Anyways. <laughs> um, I put... 20 cc's of water, so I'm doing that right now. There, I got the 20 cc's. Okay, again, pinch it, open it, put it in like that, the syringe, and just flush it slowly, not too quickly. So, basically, what you're gonna feel if this is if it's gonna be your first time putting in a nasogastric feeding tube. Um, basically what you're going to feel, you don't feel it going in your body, you just feel the temperature of the liquid. So this water was pretty cold, so I can kind of feel like a coldness down my throat and I'll hear like, it just feels cold. So, um, I got that and close that up. Remember, I pinched it and pinch and that's all. I did everything I had to do to get it in, and then you just plug it to your, your pump, and there you go. So, just for some tips for first-timers, um, what I would say to you, if it's going to be your first time, is that it is scary at, at the beginning, but once it's in, you get used to it, and it doesn't hurt, and after you practice putting it in a lot. Um, as you just saw, it doesn't hurt at all. You just pretty much put it in. Sometimes you might find a blockage, but it doesn't hurt. It just won't go. So you, sometimes you bend down, put it in like that, breathe deeply, or drink water. So um, basically, when it's your first time before getting used to it, you'll be swallowing a lot. You'll be like, gulp, 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 right? Because um, you're not used to it yet. So you'll be swallowing. Like right now, I'm swallowing normally because I'm like expert level. So, um, yeah, so I hope this video helped, and uh, just so you know, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt at all. So, uh, yeah, it, it, sh it might hurt at the beginning, but after that, it shouldn't hurt. So, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, and that I hope it helped. So, uh, thanks for watching.